Hi, greetings in Jesus name. Pointers along the way are brief Bible based messages I bring out, God willing, every Saturday dealing with practical aspects of the Christian life. I hope they will be a blessing to you. You can visit my website at www.c-n-c.org for my articles and books. This is pointer number 930 and it's called Healed Through His Wounds. By his wounds we are healed is a part of a verse quoted by some Christians to affirm faith in God to give them physical health and to claim healing when they become sick Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 but he was pierced through for our transgressions he was crushed for our iniquities the chastening for our peace fell upon him and by his wounds we are healed after a sincere examination of the bible and consulting different people's views on this i have concluded that this is not the right way to interpret this passage i know some brothers and sisters will not agree with me on this but i hope they will be willing to look at this with an open mind most people will agree that isaiah 53 is a crucial part of the bible prophecy about the death of the messiah as a sacrifice for our sins by taking our death on himself which we deserve for our sins he offers us salvation from the guilt and power of sin in our life the above phrase occurs in the middle of that prophecy and because of the use of the word healed some are prompted to think that the salvation also includes our physical healing some take it that if we become sick we can therefore claim healing and some others think that it offers us total health without sickness if physical healing is meant here it will be a most powerful part of salvation apart from that from sin but there are problems one why is it that there is no detailed teaching about it asking us to claim and enjoy it two why did believers such as timothy epaphroditus trophimus and possibly paul too suffer from sickness three when paul proclaimed the gospel if physical healing was a part of that gospel how could he leave behind anyone sick four peter referred to isaiah 53:5 and connected it to spiritual healing 1 peter chapter 2 verse 24 who himself bore our sins in his body on the tree so that having died to sin we might live to righteousness by his wounds you were healed the conclusion we have to arrive at when we consider the above is that there does not seem to be any backing in other parts of the bible for the teaching that salvation includes physical healing if we conclude that and hold the position that all of scripture must hold together we will have to explain what matthew meant where he says that jesus did miraculous healings to fulfill isaiah's prophecy he himself took our infirmities and carried away our diseases Matthew chapter 8 verse 16 and 17 Now when evening came they brought to him many who were demon possessed and he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were ill in order to fulfill what was spoken through Isaiah the prophet saying he himself took our infirmities and carried away our diseases Matthew seems to want to show that Jesus was the one Isaiah was referring to rather than to prove that healing is included in our salvation Jesus healed all kinds of diseases supernaturally 
and it goes with the nature of God to heal. He heals now too. But what we see is that there is no blanket guarantee for healing or health, as some conclude from Isaiah 53 5. My aim in writing this is first of all to deliver people who misunderstand Isaiah 53 5 and expect miraculous healing always and even refuse medical treatment. Secondly, those who put their hope on this verse and got disappointed should not stop believing in God and His Word. Surely, sickness was one of the results of sin, but so was death, climate change, etc. Full redemption from sin waits for us only in eternity. Revelations chapter 21 verse 4 And he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will no longer be any death. There will no longer be any mourning or crying or pain. The first things passed away. A lot of confusion, unbelief and disappointment can be avoided if we understand things rightly. May the Lord bless you in your life as you have listened to these words. Thank you.